I want to welcome everyone to Race Face TV. We are glad to be back with you. So let's get right to our Race Face driver updates. We're going to start off with our Race Face Next drivers, Colby and Justice Sokol, who were competing in the USAC Quarter Midget Nationals at ISM Raceway in Phoenix, Arizona on the same weekend as the USAC Silver Crown cars and the Verizon Indy cars. The Red Army qualified all nine cars into the main events, where Kobe Sokol wins Senior Animal, finishes second in Senior Honda, and second in Light World Formula, while Little Brother Justice wins Heavy World Formula and second in the Unrestricted Animal classes. I encourage you, if you have never been to a quarter midget national event, this needs to be added to your bucket list. Not only will you see some of the country's up and coming superstars, but you will also witness the hardest working people in racing, and that's their parents. Now, race face driver Adam Lemke was making his second start in the RPM Mortgage Pro Late Model Series at Madera Speedway on Sunday in his number 98 Nate Clower off axis paint Toyota. Adam qualified sixth but had to start eight with the invert, but quickly moved to the front and was running third with 30 laps remaining before a racing incident sidelined him for the evening. This is Adam's first year in the Pro Late Model Series and only his fifth start of his career in a late model. There is no doubt that you will be hearing a lot from this young driver in 2018. Did I mention he won the season opener in the USAC HPD Midget Series last weekend at Madera? Amazing talent, Adam Lemke, mark it down. Toyota Racing Development driver Jesse Love returned to victory lane on Sunday in the second round of the 5150 Junior Late Model Series, again at Madera Speedway. Jesse qualified P2, but had to start fourth with the invert, but it didn't take the defending series champion long to work his number 38 5150 Toyota into the lead. Jesse is off to another championship start with a third place and a win as he goes into round three as the points leader. Up next for Jesse, BCRA Midgets at Merced Speedway on April 21st. Now we're gonna take a trip to the west, a historic place where we find race face driver Sheldon Creed, where he brings home a second place finish in the Music City 200 from Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. This coming off a third place finish in the season opener at Daytona has Sheldon second in points heading into Salem on April the 22nd. Now, Sheldon drives for MDM Motorsports and this team swept all three of the top spots with Zane Smith winning and Harrison Burton finishing third. Teammate Chase Purdy also brought home a top 10 finish coming in seventh. That's a stout day at the track. First, second, third, and seventh. I think the team that Travis Miller and Mark McFarland have assembled will be a contender at every track they visit this year. Now, race face drivers Ryan Vargas and Sam Mayer were not able to run because of bad weather. I don't think the East Coast got the message that it's springtime. Ryan Vargas and Anthony Alfredo will both be back behind the wheel in round two of the NASCAR k and Pro Series East this weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway as they take to the high banks in the Zombie Auto 150 on Saturday. Well, that's it for today's Race Face Driver Update. Thanks for being with us. As always, we encourage you to go out to your local tracks, support local racing in your areas, and we're going to see you back here next week. Go out and have a great day.